You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking time out of your day. That means a lot to me that you're watching this video and I get to show you now this 100% authentic paw game officially licensed. This is a Milton Bradley game, ages eight and up, and is game number 4501. You see, official licensed product from the World Pog Federation. Now, I got this at a Goodwill and I paid $9 for this. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, that's a lot for a game at Goodwill, but wait till you see what's inside. Now, the rest of the artwork on the box is very similar. The back does, though, and you see there is a rubber band on here. Wait, if you just can sense how heavy this is, it's at least three or four pounds because it's loaded with pogs. All right, so inside the box, I get a tournament game board, a game pad, 48 authentic WPF designer pog milk caps, 48 authentic WPF classic pog milk caps, four official tournament keenies, two custom WPF pog containers, official WPF collector sheet, and the official guidebook. Now this is from 1995. All right, so I'm gonna do this now because it is heavy and there's a lot in there. I'm gonna come back, change the angle, and uh, open it up and show you everything inside. All right, here we go. Now I've had this for a good month or so. Normally I would have sorted it out, cleaned it all up, and prepped it for a video, but I thought it was exciting just to kind of show you what I have. Also, the artwork on the inner box is pretty cool, the way they did that all the way around. All right, here we go. This is what I saw. Now, for nine bucks, you're probably saying to yourself, ah, now I see why. All right, so I have the, what part of Pog don't you understand? It's a complete history. So we're gonna read through some of this and kind of understand. And I actually have a milk bottle off to the side that I'm gonna bring in. Now this, these blank milk caps were the, for the milk cap maker, which is another set which I don't have. Toys R Us, $3.99. This was in the box, and this was a second pack. You were able to make your own. There's a sticker on one side, so you can stick it in there and cut it off in the little maker. So maybe I will do that one day. All right. Now, this could be the ones that came with it. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Plus, there's more on this side. This is a double pack of what looked to be the original ones. I will verify that, okay? Now, there is a little booklet. Oh, there, so we know everything that originally came with it in the picture is there. The Pocket Book of Pog, check it out. All right, well, we'll get to that in just a second. Just a little sheet of paper. And then this might be a pad, but I'm not sure. It looks like a giant Pog, but that's not what it is. And then there's this street cap, so this is a set 50 of them that are probably in here 1995 okay and then oh, here let me put this here so you kind of see everything that is going to come out of this box i'll do it this way okay well here's the cover to that there's a mini tournament game board there is this pack which is part of the micro tournament game pack the world pog federation and it is filled and then there's these containers laser caps collection there is one two and yes they're filled and then two smaller ones and then a black one this might have been the one that came with the game let me see well that's on the back i won't be able to show you until i turn it over and the main game board okay and then all of these. So I'm gonna have to go through this. I'm gonna stop here. And uh, now my old boxes like this, like this one has hair. So there's dust in here. I would normally clean this out. And then, oh yeah, so the black one. There's also this purple one, which, oh, there they are. So those are the two. So it looks like this could be pretty complete. This has a purple center. Let's see, is it purple on the other side? Nope. It's just black there. You got the nice pog in the middle here. I'll show that in a little more detail. All right, so let me take out the things that I'm not gonna mess with today. 
I do want to go through all these. I want to get rid of most of that. And then we'll start learning about the game, and then I will eventually play it. All right, so this is a setup and cleaning video. So what I'm going to do is just get the dust and little particles out of here, and then just talk a little bit, because I did not actually play this. I remember the game at the time, um, but I did not collect any of these at the time. So... I've been waiting for the moment where I found just the perfect collection and this was it. It had enough stuff plus it was a game which I do like to show on video. Okay just little particles in there. I think I am close. Not much more to it. The bottom let's see alright so it says 1994 WPF. It's not too bad. I think the box itself was dirtier than this. Looks better already. Okay. Alright, I'll let that dry off to the side. The pad itself, not much to it. That one is ready to go. This pad ready to go. Let's take a look at the booklets now. You have this pocketbook of Pog. Check it out. Who led Pog out of the bottle? Let's see. The old-fashioned game of the future. Long before Pog Mania reached your Fair town, there were milk caps and milk cap games. In fact, milk cap games have been played for decades. Years ago, when milk still came in glass bottles, oh, wait a minute, let me show you. I have a glass bottle. So, this is kind of what they were. And at the top was your pog, which wasn't a pog at the time, but the pogs that were in there were more like this. Okay, and you will see a staple and a little round area. That's because that second piece was removed, and you would have this would be in the bottle, right? Pressure pressurized in and usually coated and sealed. Then you'd pull that little tab up and take out the cap. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's notched out, and this little tab would come up. The staple was a support, so that when you pulled it out. Oh, that one's in there now, so I'm just going to leave that one. So that's basically what it looked like on a bottle. So people, kids, here we go. Years ago when milk still came in glass bottles, boys and girls nearly everywhere collected and played with the round, wax-coated cardboard discs that sealed every bottle of milk. Factoid, before the mid-1960s, almost all milk was sold in reusable glass bottles. Pretty amazing, huh? But as cardboard and plastic milk containers began replacing glass bottles, milk caps and milk cap games... Both nearly disappeared. Awesome Blossom and her way cool kids. In 1991, a very wise and insightful teacher living in Hawaii, Blossom Galbiso, decided to introduce her students to the simple milk cat game she had enjoyed so much as a child. Naturally, her students loved the game, and they loved the colorful caps she got for them at the Halakela Dairy in Maui. But because the discs they played with were printed with the name Pog, a popular blend of local fruit juices, passion fruit, orange, and guava. The game quickly became known as Pog. Today, there are enthusiastic Pog milk cap players, collectors, and traders just like you all over the world. Okay, so the Pog Kini. I had to research that one a little bit. That is your slammer. The Kini is a wine word for king. Pog Kinis are used to as slammers or hitters, so they are larger, thicker, and heavier. The first kinis were made by gluing two paper milk caps together. Today, kinis are made from a variety of materials like plastic and metal. Blasters are special kinis made from special anodized aluminum. Pog Classics. Pog milk. Classic Pog milk caps are manufactured by Stanpak, the world's only maker of genuine milk caps. Each one features a thumb tab, pickout, staple, and special wax coating, and because of their exceptional action and excellent bounce, the World Pog Federation endorses their use in all official tournament play. Now, from what I've read, is that when you have the staple, they also stack a little bit differently because you have the staple, which is somewhat pronounced, and you might get a little more uneven stack, which I think would make a difference when you play the game. And then Pog Designer Caps. Pog Limited Editions, Pog Power Packs, and Pog Tunes are a different breed altogether. They're designer milk caps, no thumb tabs or staples here. Instead, you get radical artwork, brilliant metallic foils, and blazing colors. Each one is also numbered with a series, so they're not only a kick to collect and trade, but can potentially increase in value. Check the back, Jack. Only 100% authentic Pog brand milk caps carry the official Pog logo. Okay, not there. Right there. 
Not official. Official. Okay, the basic game. Before playing for keeps or just for fun, I've also heard it as keepsies. Each player must agree to the rules, and each must contribute an equal number of pog mill caps to a single common stack. So if someone calls out six, then you both have to grab six. You decide if you're going to keep them, one, two, three, four, five, or you're going to take them back after. Now, what I did read was that this was actually banned on many schoolyards because they found it as a form of gambling because kids were losing them and their favorite ones and then getting upset and it caused problems so there you go okay to determine who goes first flip a pog mill cap or play rochambeau which is paper scissors rock i've never heard it that way but that's what it is the first player slams their kini at the stack all peg all pog mill caps landing face down go to the player okay now it doesn't tell you if they're all face it looks like they're all facing up Okay, so you're going to put them on this. You decide six each. Mm, three, four, five, six. I just found Lucky Charms. Okay. I've seen people put them face down. Oh, there's a hair. See, I need to clear this out. We don't want to have that issue. Uh, and then... The first player slams their kini at the stack. All, pill, all pog milk caps landing face down go to that player. All pog milk caps remaining face up are restacked for the next player's attempt to flip the stack. Players alternate turns until every pog milk cap has been flipped and won. The player with the most pog milk caps is declared the overall winner. Let me see if I have a slammer. Oh, there's a slammer. Okay, this is one of those heavy metal slammers. Holy cow, that's going to cause damage. Here is a plastic one. Let's see if I have any more in this little stack. I know there's other ones. Here's one. So this is also metal. Think of like a big metal washer. And then Pog Baseball. There's another way to score plenty of fun with Pog Milk Caps. Use extra Pog Milk Caps to keep track of any runners on base. The player who's up throws at a stack of four Pog Milk Caps. If one is flipped, it's a single. Two are a double. Two are a double, three are a triple, four are a home run. If no Milk Caps are flipped, it's an out. Restack the stack after each throw. Okay. And when the first player who's up has three outs, it's the other player's turn to throw for a hit. As in baseball, runs are scored when a runner Pog milk cap reaches home. After six or nine innings of play, just like baseball, the player with the most runs wins. Okay. And then here's the back. Okay, so I think we're getting a good feel for it now. I can get rid of the milk jug, so now you kind of know how that was all set up. And then this is the what part of Pog don't you understand? So this goes into more detail. And then, yep, yeah, so kind of repeat some of the information we've seen. Let's see what else is in here. I won't read this all to you because I've read quite a bit already. We want to get to sorting them out. Okay, yep, that's repeat. Okay. One of the coolest things about Pog Milk Caps is you don't really have to play the game to still enjoy them. In fact, many Pog purists choose to concentrate solely on collecting and trading the wide variety of Pog Classics, Pog Kinis, and Pog Designer Milk Caps created by the World Pog Federation. Remember, check the back. The traditional rules, so this is kind of a repeat. Pog Baseball, that is a repeat. More fun in games? Okay, the pit. Okay, so I'll let you figure that out. Pog War, so another game for two players. Pog Concentration, start with 20 matching pairs of Pog Classic Milk Caps and mix them all up. Mix them well, unlike other Pog Milk Caps, they aren't numbered on the back. You will find plenty of matches for the Pog Classic Milk Caps you already have at your Pog Dealer. Okay, and then you would just play like Concentration. Pog Slamination, and then help yourself to more fun. The slamming technique that seems to work best for most players is the traditional two-finger slam with no grips in the beginning. You may feel the need to use your thumb to help grip your kini when you throw it. Most players, in fact, learn this way. But once you've gained a little more experience and confidence in your slamming, you realize you don't really need a thumb grip. You'll also realize that you don't 
that you need to take very careful aim before each throw. And of course, you never want to completely miss the stack. Keep in mind that in all official tournament play, the WPF enforces a no grips rule for all players who are over five years old and are not beginners. In general, though, the more you practice, the better you'll get and the more fun you'll have. Now, I've seen people do this. So what they're saying is you're just kind of taking it like this, no grip. I wonder if you can kind of just hold it in here like this. Yeah, it's, you got to think about that. And you're taking it and you're tossing it down. Or I've seen people do this. Now, they don't show that there. So then you're going to take this and you're going to hit the edge of the stack. Now, I could see what this is going to cause major tribulation. Watch this. I'm just going to attempt it now. Okay, so I had four upside down. All right. Now I get to keep those. Let me do this now. I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to start now sorting out all the pogs. Okay, what we've been waiting for is to organize these. So I'm going to do it all on video. So I will try to fit as many on the screen as possible and then give you... Like this one has nothing on the back. This one has something on the back. I'll try to show you front and back of each as I put them down. And then I'll maybe give you a close-up shot after each one. Blank on the back. Okay. And at some point I probably would try to organize these completely by design. Oh, I didn't show you the back. You know, this one says the Iceman, and it does have the little flip-out pull tab, like a cutout there, but no staple. This is Monsters, official Universal Studios number 79, The Mummy. Slammers, Whammers, this is Imperial Toys, okay. Slules, number 11, blank on the back. It looks like this theme carries forward here. Z, it's metallic. Nothing on the back. Skull Jam. Okay, here's that heavy eight. I'll be putting those off to the side. This might be one that came originally with the game, I'm guessing. Blank. This is the Prowler, Spider-Man. So that kind of matches that one. So those two probably were originally in a set. 100% authentic Pogman. It's got the logo on the back. Blank on this one. That's a snake. Poison. I don't know. It seems to be thematic. Now if I get to something that's questionable, I'm going to edit that out of the video. Flee the Scene. Because I really don't know. Rainblow. Special Edition Collector Cat. Grin and Barrett. Eek. Number 17. So this is one of the numbered ones. Re-entry. Looks like A13. Apollo 13. So looks like a bat with fangs. Got the official logo on the back. Ooh, I just found another slammer. This one says poison. I'll try to keep all those off to the side. Now, I was reading, too, that these heavy ones tend to be a little unfair, and they could actually damage your collection. So you do need to be careful if you're throwing those. And the people around you, if you miss. Forkball. Power. Okay, blank. Weightlifter. Soccer. Blank. Blank. Looks like a little marmot or something. I don't know what that is. Hedgehog. This is another official one. Number 44. Double Trouble. Alright, this is going to take a while. So if you can't watch the whole video, it would help me out if you come back and finish later. Not just stop. There's another 8-ball. Blank. Okay, very cool holographic looking one. The Planets. This is Apollo 13, number one in the series. Ooh, I should be able to fit more on here. This one's got the cutout. Nope, doesn't. Number 62. This one's the Slammers Whammers from Imperial Official Universal Monsters one. Okay, number eight. 
There's another A13, a view home, number 11, or number 2, I don't know if it's numerals. Bugle Boy, limited edition number 3. Okay, so someone's got to tell me about Bugle Boy, I have no idea. This is one that's cut out, it's a Mysterio, so part of the Marvel. Number 24, after years of hardship, Cyclops and Jean Grey finally got married. This has got the cutout. Oh, there's my lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Odyssey Fires Engine A13, number seven in the series. Okay, number eight. There's some significance with the eight ball and the yin and the yang. I think that's a common theme. And here's another slammer, another poison. A heavy one. Ninja Nerds, number 28. I'll do one more row here. It's a pig flying with money. Pog official. And maybe I can squeeze in one more row after that. It's not funny. And then Shell on Wheels, number 94. That's another rainbow. Or there's another official pog. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to snap a quick picture, put that up, come back, and show you the next batch. All right, next batch. I brought the camera down. I'm going to try to fit them all the way in there so we can speed this up. Some I'll show you the back, some I won't. And that's another, another eight ball. E equals MC Hammer. Yeah, that glare on some of them is going to be an issue, so I'll try to put the non-glaring ones there. Number 51 in that series, whatever that series is, the Cardinals, those are blank on the back. Another Poison one, I think that's all we could fit there. World Sports Caps, ooh, that's a different back, from Chick-fil-A, hmm. A13, all systems go. That's number two in the series. I bet you the whole series is here. Let me see if I can fall. Here's one that shouldn't glare as much. This says, ask questions. Wolverine. Another Pog original. Blank, Daredevil, I know some of you are probably saying why is he wasting this time showing these all, I don't know, I got the collection out, this is the time to do it, maybe you had some of these, or remember having some of these, ooh I lost my camera just a little, hold on a second, here I'll do that, okay. blank skulls you kind of get a sense of the artwork here now lots of eight balls skulls crazy characters on most of them this uh, yin and yang symbol skull see that another crazy one I'll try to speed it up maybe on the next batch I'll just put them out I don't know bugging I don't even know who that character is, so I'm not going to even try to pronounce his name. Captain 8-Ball. Ghost Rider. The Yin and the Yang again. Now that's kind of like what we're going to probably see a lot of those. Alright, I haven't seen any duplicates yet though. Ooh, I just felt the metal one in my hand. Spider-Man. That is Venom. See that one? Heavy. I'll leave that one on the outer edge. I'm putting them all back in the tray. Keep your eyes on the ball. He's got his eyeballs out of his head. Another rain blow. Pog. Collect them. 
Well, I'm almost through the bowl, so I guess it's not taking too long. But, oh, there's a lot. I forgot how many there are. I'll tell you what, the next batch, I'll just put a bunch out, do a quick talk, show them in one large picture. Locals only. Another Wolverine, that's a dupe. Now, I did notice in this pack, there's a bunch of made ones that they made with that kit. I didn't get your, I didn't, I ain't your grandmother, I ain't your grandmother, little girl. I don't know, I had a hard time reading that. Black Widow. Oh, this is Ren and Stimpy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, Nickelodeon. Let's see anything in the back, yeah. Skull Jam. All right, that is the next batch. I will take a picture of that, put those up. And I'm going to lay out the next few so that this is a little bit quicker, and then you could see what I have. All right, I changed my mind. I figure at this point, the fun for me is seeing them for the first time, monkey business. And then, especially finding the slammers, because those are always fun. I don't know what that is. Cool Caps 94. This ain't no bull cap, and it's a bull. Bear cap. Slam or be slammed? That was a repeat. I'll just try to move a little bit quicker. Or I just don't... Oh, there we go. So that can go in the slammer's pile. A fist. That is a Power Ranger. Adam, 32 of 40. Okay, so it looks like the collection's quite interesting. Now look at this case. You got this weird shaped one. Don't know what that is. Long haired person. Oh, here we go. Another slammer just hit my fingertips. A metal one. There's some duplicates. Sports. So we have sports, Power Rangers, lots of eight balls, football, another universal. This is number 12. Monsters. Another Monsters. Another Grandma one. Hmm, that must be a theme. Another duplicate there, a triplicate. Ooh, just a plain, flat, plastic slammer with no other printing on it. Here's another like a Chinese star. There's a Looney Tunes. Is that Looney Tunes? I'm moving too quick now. Another eight ball. Apollo 13. Oh, the Grim Reaper. Mad Dog. What does that say? Guy Bot. Cap or something. USA Eagle. I like that one. Really cool. Another flying pig, got that one. It's all holographic. Well, this is the second one in this little series, number 14 it looks like. Crazy looking monster. That's got a different back. The Redskins. That one's stuck. I can't get that one out. Universal Monsters number 52. That must be the main one because it just says it. Oh, here's a homemade one. See the ones that are like that? And this one says die on the back. I'm going to pull all those out. Jaguars. Another metal one that says Atomic Bomber. And they're in really nice shape, not worn out. A lot of times you find those, see those worn out. Another Monsters. Another eight ball, a front of a face. Okay, that one's hard just to see all together. A little trademark, another monsters. Bear cap, see that one. Little futuristic looking thing there. Another flying pig. This is official monsters. This one's 
got a little me metallic blue in it. Another Lucky Charms. I don't know if that's a duplicate. Jesus. Jesus made the box. Good with all this other stuff here. Quiver. Hmm. That kind of looks questionable. But I'll leave it. Slammin' Jetty Eddie. Fat. Okay, a whole one. Oh, we don't want to show that. We'll take that one out. This one says bite me. I guess that's a little better. Oh, let's see these homemade ones. Oh, it looks like they took the instructions from the actual maker and put them on their homemade cap. Goosebumps. Oh, another slammer. This is an A13. So this must go with the Apollo 13 set. It's the main one. And it's metal. Okay, let's round these out real quick. An original one, Delivery Pog. I thought we saw that one. It's right there. Duplicates. I could see now the memory game. The Giants. Another Chick-fil-A, Brazil. All right, that's good. Another Grim Reaper. All right, let me take a picture of that, come back, and do the next batch. All right, here's what we have left in this. I keep saying I'll be quicker, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of just uh, Michi's. Oh, another slammer. Okay, I'll try to be quicker. Oh, that's a homemade one. It looks like they took part of the game information and put it on there. A gun pointing at you. Another skull jam. We've seen that one. Looks like a crying lion. Be a bookworm. Yikes. A whole main one. Got to be careful there. Suffin' crazy. This says poison. Hmm. I got to Google that poison theme. I don't know what they're, what they're trying to say there with the poison number 13 in that series this is a stompers shoe this is a michi's what is michi's hmm, someone's got to know number 10 in this series triple poison another face all right let me take one of these okay this one's actually full i could feel the slammers right away this is a lightning bolt it's a clear one Looks like it's never been thrown. There's a three in this little container. Four in this little container. You won't see those. I'll show them better in the picture. All right, I'll try to be quicker. Quicker, quicker, Dave. I might not be facing them the right way. Pogs are number one. That's their slogan in their homemade one. What's up? They made their own eight. Another mod. Oh, this is uh, Scorpion, number 10 in that series. Top Dog. I don't know who she is. Psylocke. This is some kind of animal. Can't even pronounce it. Shark. Another poison looking one with the skulls. A bird. Super stomper. Okay, I got quite a few in there. I could squeeze a few more down here. Let's see what's in the next one. Okay, that was kind of neat when you 
pour them out. Maybe on the next one, I'll just pour the whole tube out. Bugging. Okay, I think that's all I could fit. Some dupes there. Let's take a quick picture. Let me move on to the next batch. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't see any slant. Oh, there's one. And here's what's left over from the first. Oh, McDonald's. Oh, a homemade one. Accepting applications for full and part-time positions. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that Matt, we'll just say Matt. Okay, it's got to be Matt's. What he was doing at the time. Got Chick-fil-A, got McDonald's. You know, maybe he was checking out fast food at the time. I don't know. I'm just trying to center these. I don't know what that says. Angel was transformed. Another homemade one. Looks like someone's neck. And their cat. Look. Here, I'll leave those up. Another McDonald's one. Or was that the same one? I don't know. Number one pog. Yeah. I love you. Oh, thanks. And now someone's jeans. Hmm. Been quite a few of those. I just felt the metal one. Spider-Man in metal. Ooh, maybe that goes with that whole set. So it's looking like you'd buy a set, and then in the set there was one slammer, right? Okay, one more, and I promise you I will start playing and seeing if I can get any better at it. Mad Dog. Oh, that must be his sister. Looks like a school picture. Okay, Matt's sister. Is that you? Don't laugh, pal. Don't laugh, pal. Pog is way too hip for you. Okay, I think, though, I could fit maybe the rest of these on the side. And that would wrap up that whole tube. Look how colorful that one is. All right. This looks like it's from the actual game, doesn't it? It's got the image from the game box. Okay, next batch. Let me take a picture for you. All right, the last batch. That was cool. Right away, I see right there. I just feel that one, that one, and one on the top. It's very light. It says Chick-fil-A World Sports Caps. So these three, all right, let me start building this up. And I have them all in the tray now. And for those of you that are saying, well, I wish you would have took more time. I know, I wish I, wish I could have took more time as well, but it's just not the way it's working out anymore. Sad to say. Now this is like this third or fourth one that has the pog that looks like it's from the box. Even that one there. This must be a special pack. Let's see if it says numbers on the back. Number 19. Game. It says 32 the game. So those are the ones I really should have been isolating. Like that one, the game, to see if it was complete. I'm going to say, for the most part, complete or not, it's still... Oh, I better check these. Okay, I don't know. 
he made a pog of just a little corner piece and this one says your mama at least he was thinking about his mom some kind of peace looking sign some sports crowded monkey help me out everybody help me out oh well that I don't know what he was thinking maybe a little unhappy Ooh, another metal a uh, plastic one another homemade one very similar to that looks like he used up all the packaging from the box or the instructions for that toy okay that's it that is all of them they took the pog thing on that one pog tv one more hey oh a famous person who is that tell me who that is maybe matt had a crush on her could be all right that is all of them okay now i'm gonna officially i'll take a better picture and then bring it all back in and then play the game all right check that out that is a nice collection of slammers and then tons of pogs looks like there's at least three or four different sets in here and then remember these i had these they were in this looks like an official yes it's got the little gold pog logo on it so that's the fronts of one side and the fronts of another side they put them back to back so that's a nice addition now not everything came with the game those three back there this i don't think this came with the game because it had the main mat and then it looks like this one this one this one this one and this one came with the game and that's about it there all right so now you've seen it all plus the other ones for the make your own milk cap uh milk cap maker set so that might show up later if i ever find that maker now i want to play all right so you've seen it all i'm going to come back now and i'm going to play the game all right here we go there was the four i didn't see it right away i don't know why maybe just missed it so i'm going to play with these first just so i can understand this now you probably wouldn't jam this many in here but it gives me a lot to play with so probably one player two player three player and then you would put the ones that you're bringing in to the game so i'm just gonna put a stack in that's a big stack i'll take some less there now remember they go face up okay and then i can throw down now i'm not sure i mean the weight on this is so far uh so much lighter than that one i first did this one is, is so heavy this one is very light so let me just do it try to do it without my thumb see if i get anything see if i even hit the stack here we go I don't even know how to hold it like that. Maybe you get a little finger pressure. Okay, I hit it. And two in the back. Actually flipped. Okay, so those are now mine. So I don't know, maybe you keep these off. It doesn't really say. And then you keep playing with the same stack. And then you would put these one ones in a new column. Maybe you split it up. I'm not sure. All right, let me do it again. Here we go. That was with no thumb. I'm kind of pinching it in here though, so I don't know if that's cheating or not, but it gives me some kind of grip. Here we go. Oh, I used my thumb. It's hard not to. You're so used to it. No thumb. No thumb. Okay, no thumb. One flipped over. All right, so that goes in my collection. Let's do it again nothing all right well, let me try say this flat red disc it's a little bit heavier nothing so you see a lot of people take it like this and they're just going crazy slamming it down and i could see that with this monster i mean the whole board's probably just gonna fall let's just see what happens okay yes i've just felt the whole thing shake and let me try this little star one. Miss. Bad. Miss. 
Oh, I almost flipped some. At least shifted the pile. Nope. I don't know. Let's get away from that one. Let's try. Here, let's try this super heavy four aces. I'm guessing as the stack gets smaller, it's also harder to flip. Yeah, because you don't have as much area to hit. I'm not doing too hot. All right, let me just try it this way. I've seen people do this. Wow, this is too heavy. Let's get that one out of here. It's a little bit lighter. Now, this one's probably the lightest of all of them. Almost feels like... Okay, this one's not bad. We'll do it this way, I've seen. Ah, it doesn't seem official because it worked really good. So those would be mine. So it doesn't say anything about falling off, but they still are face up. Anything face up? I'm assuming... Now, there's probably playground, playground rules that you come up with, right? I'm guessing... That there was... Oh, if it falls off, it's no good. So you can keep them. All right, let's try this one. Now, how do you flip the last two? <laughs> Terrible. Whoa. Okay, that one rolled away. Let's do poison. I'm kind of just keeping them like this, locked in instead of using my thumb, but I'm still... Holding it. Yeah, you get no no pressure when you don't have your thumb, but I guess if you're really good at it, you don't need it. All right, let's just slam every all the slammers I got for these last two. I cheated. I felt my thumb on that one. Wow. Thumb. Ooh. Let's try no thumb. Nope. Ooh, a heavy one. I guess, too, that if the stack is offset, it makes a difference. Nope. Ooh. Now, if those weren't there, what would have happened? Playground rules. Oh, it's got a little bear on it. It's heavy. It's metal. Okay, no thumb. Totally dropped it. Poison. Nope. This is hard. All right. I'm going to reset up because I want to bring the camera down so you get a straight on shot with a bigger stack. All right. Let me grab a stack. I'm going to say we're each putting in quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That's a big stack. I don't know. Was there a maximum? Again, probably playground rules in there. Okay. Now I'm going to grab one of the authentic ones from the game. And here we go. Let's see. I'm feeling that the heavy metal one is my style. <laughs> here we go. All right. I'm going to try not to use my thumb. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. I have one off to the side. And this whole stack flipped over. Okay. So next person. I'll give you another little camera angle. Here we go. No. Smaller stack, harder to do. Nope. Use my thumb too. The last second, it's just like you grab it just because you think it's going to fall out. Ooh. None flipped over. That wasn't too bad. Let me do a bigger stack. Let's just get a big stack in there just for fun. Okay, I'm goofing around. Playground rules. I can do whatever I want. Let's get the big one. I'll end there. 
I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it took some time, but I wanted to go through them all and show that to you. I'm going to grab the eight ball and a big stack. This is for the world championship. Here we go. We'll give a little more camera room there. This is for all the money, the trophy, the fame, the glory. And I'm going to use my thumb. And thanks for watching. Look at that description for more videos. Wow. I'm going to really slam this down and say later. Now watch, I miss it. I missed it. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah, I know. I know what you're all saying. How did he miss it? All right, here we go. One more time. Okay, the last one for the trophy for all the money and the glory. Shh. Not a single one flipped over. I hit right on top. That's a redo. Oh, wait, one. And I don't know if I started flipped over, but I tried to keep them all in the same direction. Do it again. That's a do-over. Okay. Here we go. The whole board shifted. Okay, last try. Hopefully some flip over. Later. Oh yeah, they all flipped over and shot across. Look at all these. All right, I thought I'd bring in a complete Pog newbie. Elise? Yes. <laughs> have you ever played this before? Not at all. Okay, do you know anything about the game? Nope. All right, so this is the game of Pog. This was out in the 90s. Kids played this in playgrounds, okay. at their houses for parties. It was very popular. Pogs would be given out at restaurants, in right. cereal boxes. So you decide first we're playing for keepsies. Keepsies yeah. means you get the keeps the keeps, keeps. Keep, <laughs> keep the ones you win. But since they're all part of this collection, we're just having fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's decide. Let's put out one, two, three, four, five, this. six. Okay. So I'm going to put out six. Now you put out six. Six. Now you're going to put them on put the stack. The, and this okay. is your personal private collection, too. Right. Now, I think for the game, for, for the... Schoolyard rules, we're going to mix them up so not all of one person's are on the top and another person's are on the bottom. All right. Okay, not that it matters. Now I forgot totally what you put in it. <laughs> You're going to take your Kini, which is also called the Slammer. Okay. Now, they say beginners are going to hold it like this. Okay? This? Uh, yeah, you can hold it out like that. And the object is to slam it down so it hits the edge and then it's going to flip some over. The okay. ones that are flipped over are the ones you get to keep. I will go first and Where I will you show you. Where do you put the... Keeped ones. Well, you can put them in your empty tray there. Okay. Oh, you think you're going to keep some? <laughs> <laughs> I try. will go first, all right? Okay, go ahead. And I'm going to do it without my thumb. All right. Okay, I missed. That was a bad one. Now you Does can... It need to be, like, hard? Yeah, well, yeah, you okay. got to... Okay, let's Go ahead. See. Okay, so you missed two. Okay. Okay. Let's I'll do it again. All right. Missed. Okay. Totally missed. That's okay. We're both missing. All right, here we go. Okay, did you see that? Now these three are okay. keeps. Yes. So this is the ones I get to keep. These stay. Now, now it's your turn to see if you can right. keep any. Nope. All right, try again. Okay. Maybe don't hold it so far out. Give it right. Get it right okay. in your fingers and come right down on the pot. Right. Okay. Here you go. There you go. Yay! You get a lucky okay. charms. That's your keepsy. Nice. Keepers, we'll call it. All right, here we go. My turn. My turn. That's a miss. Okay, straighten the stack. It's okay. your turn. There we go. All right. Boom. Good try. And you keep going until there are none left. Okay. Ooh, bad. Go ahead. You're close. You gotta hit a little bit closer to the edge. Ah. My turn again. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. None flipped over <laughs> okay. though. Okay. Okay. I 
that's a, that's okay. I, at least I hit it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah. Go ahead. Oh, we'll stop right. after this. Oh, you got Yay! two. See that? All right, good job. All right, thanks, Elise. That's all. I've shown them all the different ones in this collection. Now you know the game. Yes. Later. Bye. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.